Welcome to all techies. I'm Pankaj Shrai and in this video I'm going to talk about how you can add entity extraction feature to your Android app. Well, the first thing is what it is and why do we need this even. So think of the case that you have a text which is nothing but a sentence and in that sentence you want to figure it out just few piece of information. For example, here I have one text and from this text I'm just interested to know about the email ID of the person, not the entire text. So email ID is nothing but the entity here. So overall objective here is that I'll have the text where the output I want is just the email ID from the given text. So this kind of entity extraction feature is quite possible by using the regex. But how about if you could get this sort of functionality directly using machine learning? So MLKit provide this APIs where you can do entity extraction based on address, date, time, email ID, all sort of things that you can see here, they are currently supported. So you just need to provide the text and it will automatically extract any one of this will give you the information about that. So let's see how difficult or how easy it is to get started with entity extraction APIs. So first thing first, switch to Gradle and add the dependency for the entity extraction. Well, one thing as I said, entity extraction is all about text. You feed in the text and you also tell about that what piece of information you are interested in. Then eventually it gives you those piece of information as the value. But how about if you could just scan the text, get the text out of the scanned image and then finally do the entity extraction. So well, that is also possible, but for that we should need two machine learning model. One is for OCR, which is MLK text recognition. Using this model, we'll just scan the image, we'll get the text out of that, and then we'll feed in that text to the entity extraction model. So that every time it's not like the handwritten text, it's all about you just scan any of the image. If it is having text, from that if you want to extract certain piece of information, for example, you have visiting card. Now from just mobile camera, just to scan the visiting card, it will get the email ID. Based on that, you could do any sort of action which you want to do. So for that, we have two models. One is OCR and the one is for entity extraction. And I'm going to show you how you can club these two together so that you will get the result from one and feed in to another machine learning model. So let's switch back to the main activity. So here I'm using the camera X and these two, one is this text recognizer and another one is the entity extractor. Using these two, I'm going to process the input. So the first thing is the text recognizer. But before that, let's initialize both of them. So for entity extractor, we have this entity extractor dot get client. Here you have to provide the language. Well, it's not just the English language. If you have text written in Arabic, Portuguese, English, Dutch, French, German, Italian, and few other languages, then it supports those languages also. So here, just provide the language and build it. Finally, also because we are dealing with OCR and then we'll feed in result to the text extractor. So I'm using the text recognizer also. Now let's go back to our analyzer. So here I have my text analyzer, which is nothing but the image analysis dot analyze having one overridden method analyze. So the first thing to check here is that whether model is available or not. So for that, I'm just using it a Boolean variable, but you can also have the API like you could have text entity extractor dot is model downloaded. It also provide you this piece of information whether model is available or not. But this is very important step because entity extractor can only work when model is already downloaded on the device. So call this method download model if needed. What it does is that if model is already available, it just come to on success. And if it is not available, then it will first download the model and then eventually we'll execute the on success listener. Accordingly, you can handle the on failure listener so that you could toggle on the visibility for this action. 
now let's see about how do we are doing image processing also entity extraction so the first thing is we have image proxy from that get the image object check whether it's null or not and then eventually form a input image now this input image is important because we are going to feed in this input image to the text recognizer so this part is OCR so if it is able to figure it out some text from the feeder image then it will come to this on success listener with some text now as it's already having text what max we need to do is that just provide that text to the builder of this entity extraction so we have entity extraction params dot builder here you have to feed in the text and what types of uh, entity which you are interested in if you are not interested in a particular type then you can just completely avoid writing this and then it will uh, do the entity extraction for all the supported types but if you are concerned about the particular type like i just want to know about the email id or the address and the type phone then you can provide this as a set of if you are just interested in phone then you can avoid passing these things and it will be like set of type phone finally build this because this is important for us to pass it to the entity extractor on entity extractor call annotate method and pass on this entity params that's it with just this little two steps you have a real-time entity extraction based on your camera scan the first one with OCR and the result of this is feeding into the entity extractor model when it comes to on success you can individually fetch this entity annotation on the entities run the stream apis or a for loop then eventually you'll know about the entity type so that's it with this little steps now you have your ocr with entity extraction ready well ml kit really simplifies adding machine learning capabilities to android and ios application so that's it in this video if you have liked this video then do hit the like button and subscribe this channel to get the videos on the latest topics of android kotlin and firebase thank you and stay tuned